guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are now going to talk about creating an electrical lighting circuit. So in this exercise, we are going to create an electrical lighting circuit by placing lighting fixtures, assigning them to an electrical circuit, and we're going to edit the circuits in the panel. Okay, so in this project, you are completing the lighting layout for a conference center. So we need to create an electrical lighting circuit in one of the rooms of the conference center, which is uh, here. Okay, so we are going to place lighting fixture and switches. And then let us try to observe the lighting calculation, the space lighting calculations. And then we're going to create an electrical circuit. And then we're going to tag our lighting fixtures. So I'm just going to zoom in to this area here. So as you can see, some of the uh, area here already has lighting fixtures. But in our case, I'm just going to do it here on our classroom 5307. Okay, so let's do it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place light fixtures and switches. So by the way, um, if I'm going to select the space here, this one, so this is the space. So I click that. And then if you're going to check here the space properties, you will see that currently the average estimated illumination, okay, so we only have zero value here, okay, for our average estimated illumination. Okay, and then of course you'll be able to see here some of the properties of our uh, spaces. Now, you will notice later on, as we place our lighting fixtures, you'll be able to notice the average estimated illumination here, which is currently zero. It will, it will change, okay? So the Revit will read the property of the lighting fixture that we will be placing on our space, which is very useful because we want to know the average estimated illumination or the lux level of our uh, one room, for example, in this room. Okay, so now let's start to place lighting fixtures and switches. Okay, so as you can see, we are on the ceiling level. So I'm going, to, I'm going to select the systems tab. And then after that, there's the electrical. So I'm going to look for the lighting fixture. So I select the lighting fixture. And then from the properties, I need to look for a recess lighting fixture. Okay, which is this one. Okay, we are going to place that on our ceiling. So I'm going to select, uh, let's say, 2 by 4, 277 uh, lighting fixture. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, and then make sure the placement here is set to place on face because we're going to place it on our ceiling. So I'm going to select this and then we will now be able to place it. So we are going to rotate our lighting fixture by pressing the space bar that's the one and then after that I'm going to place it here okay so you just need to click and then after that select modify to terminate there you go so we now have one of the lighting fixture here let me just turn off the thin lines here so we can see the thickness of our lighting fixture so there you go and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it okay so I'm going to select and then I'm going to copy. Okay, so make sure multiple is selected here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to copy it to the right side, 8 feet. So I'm going to type 8, enter. There you go. And then I'm going to copy another one. So 8, enter. There you go. And then I select here, modify. So I need to copy my lighting fixture again a couple of times but this time I'm going to select the three of this lighting fixture so click one and then hold control and then select the other lighting fixtures by clicking it as well so I now have three selected lighting fixtures and then I'm going to copy that let's copy that and then I'm going to click another base point somewhere here and then same I'm going to type 8 enter and then I'm going to move my cursor below and then I'm going to type 8 enter 
there you have it. So I now have my lighting fixture and then I just select here modify. So after we place our lighting fixtures on our ceiling, the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to change my view to floor plan. Okay, so let's go to the floor plan. Why? Because that is where we are going to place our lighting switches. Okay, so I'm going to select this. Okay, it's a third floor lighting plan. So there you go. So there's our lighting fixtures. So let us now go back to our electrical panel. And then here you can see device. Let me just change to my properties window. So there's the device. And then electrical fixture or sorry, uh, lighting because we're going to place a lighting switch. So you click that one and then you click the drop down arrow here, type selector, and then let's look for the three way switch. So I'm going to select this one. And then this time around, make sure place on vertical face is selected. Why? Because we're going to place our lighting switches to our wall. Okay, so not on the face or ceiling. So make sure place on vertical face is selected. So I'm going to place a couple of uh, lighting switch here. So I'll just place it here. There you go. And then I'm going to place another one here. There you go. Okay. And then I'm going to select and modify. Now, if you're going to observe now the space lighting calculation, like what we did a while ago. So I'm going to select the space here, this one. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. So as you can see, under the electrical lighting, so there's the average uh, estimated illumination value is now uh, 67.30 FC. Okay, or 744.83 lux based on the light fixture that you just added. So I'm just showing you here how the space is very important and how the creation of the family for the lighting fixture is very important. So Revit will read that property that you have placed on your lighting fixtures on your space. So it will help you on your design here. So now it's telling you that in this room, you have this average estimated illumination okay now the next thing that we're going to do is let us create an electrical circuit okay so let's create an electrical circuit which is not difficult it's the same way as we created our sprinkler system our plumbing system our hvac system it's the same so what we are going to do is we're going to select one of the lighting fixture just click one of the lighting fixture and then here you can see create systems okay so I'm going to select power so we're going to create a power circuit and then we are going to select uh, edit circuit why because we want to select also the other lighting fixtures in this room so I select edit circuit add the circuit is already selected by default so we are now ready to click the rest of the lighting fixtures in this room. So total of nine lighting fixtures. Okay, and then after that, so we are going to select panel here to assign our lighting fixture to a panel. So select panel, and then we're going to click now the panel here. So I'm going to select LP3, our lighting panel 3. So I'm going to select this family, click that, and there you go so it's now added here so there's our panel right and then as you can see this is now the property of the circuit that we just created okay so i'm now going to select finish editing circuit there you go so that's how you create your circuit so if you're going to hover your pointer to one of the lighting fixture don't click, just hover your pointer over the lighting fixture and then you press tab. You can see that it somehow shows you there the connection of your lighting fixtures uh, to your lighting panel 3. Okay, now um, let us try to explore more. So what we are going to do is uh, let us tag our lighting fixture. So you just need to go to annotate. Or I mean, you just need to go to your quick access toolbar so you can see tag by category or you can type 
TG, that's the shortcut. So select the tag by category or type TG. And then I'm going to remove the leader from the options bar. Uncheck that one. And then let us now click our lighting fixtures to tag it. So there you go. So our lighting fixture is. All right. And then after that, you just need to select modify here. Okay, so if I'm going to select our lighting panel here, the lighting panel tree, the LP tree, okay, here, you can actually create a panel schedule here. So you can click the drop down arrow. Okay, and then you can use, uh, use default template. It creates a panel schedule for the selected panel using the default template. So just click that one. And then it will help you to create that panel schedule. Okay. There you go. So this is your panel schedule. Okay. And then as you can as you can see, there's an option here. So there's a lot of tools that you can use here, like uh, move across, move up, move to, and one of the option here is rebalance loads. So as you can see here, our A here, it's 13 amps. Our B here, it's 12 amps. And our C here is uh, 9 amps. So they are not actually that balanced, right? Our buses A, B, C here, they are not balanced. So if you want to rebalance this automatically, so you can make Revit do it for you by selecting rebalance. So it will uh, balance all the loads on the... Uh, on the lighting fixtures. So if I'm going to select rebalance loads, so you can see, you click that. There you go. So it's now balance. Okay. So if you click that rebalance loads, you will notice that the loads are adjusted to minimize the voltage difference across the buses. Okay. So that's how useful is this one? Of course, you can explore the other options here. So I'm only particular on our rebalance loads here. So as you can see, it somehow it's already balances. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video for the creating circuits. Now, on the next exercise that I'm going to do is, I'm going to teach you how to create a wiring. Okay, so after learning how to create your circuit so the next exercise is let us learn how to create wiring in Revit okay so let's do this so again we are still working on the same building so in this exercise now we are going to create and work with electrical wiring in our project so we need to complete the lighting layout in our design so to do this so we are going to place lighting fixtures we are going to generate wiring and then we're going to create home run wires okay so let's do this so i'm going to zoom in to this area here again you will notice most part of the building is already populated with wires and uh, fixtures except for this area here because this is where we are going to work okay so let's do this so we are going to place uh, electrical devices okay so for systems tab Let's go to our uh, devices here, and then let's go to the electrical fixture. Okay, so you click that one, and then we're going to place a duplex receptacle. Our duplex receptacle, it's a wall-hosted family. So we're going to place that on our wall. So make sure the placement here is placed on vertical face. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to hover my pointer to this wall. I'm going to pick one. I want to place another one here. So, what else? Okay, so I also want to place one here. I want to place one here. Okay, so let's place another one here. And then another one here. Okay, now, after placing our uh, electrical fixtures, so we are now going to create a circuit. Okay, so how to create a circuit? Okay, so to create a circuit, I'm going to select one of the fixtures that we have placed, which is this one. And then I'm going to create a power circuit. Okay, so let's select that one. 
And then again, I'm going to select edit circuit. Add to circuit. So I'm going to add this uh, fixture and then this fixture and then this one here. So these four fixture. Okay, and then I'm going to select panel here. So we are going to assign these uh, fixtures to a panel. So I'm going to select panel and then we're going to assign that to our power panel here, which is this one, PP-1N. Uh, so I'm going to select this. Okay, again, it's now populated here on our properties. So this is circuit number two and then we have the panel PP-1. Okay, and then the rest of the properties of the design there. Okay, now next, finish. Okay, so let's finish editing circuit. So I'm going to teach you how to automatically circuit our uh, model, how to circuit wiring, automatic circuit wiring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over one of the duplex receptacle that we have uh, created, for example, here. I'm going to hover. Don't click. Just hover your pointer over that and then press tab. There you go. So once you see that one, that dash lines, just click it. So once you click, okay, so you are now able to select here, convert to wire. Okay, so I'm going to use here arc wire. Okay, so let's click this one. There you go. So you just created now your wiring. So of course you can still edit this one. So you see there's a home run here. So I'm going to click that home run and then I'm going to adjust it here. I'm going to point it to my uh, PP 1-N. There you go. Something like that. Okay. So there's our home run. So that's how you generate automatic circuit wiring. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is um, you can also tag this. Okay. You can select um, tag by category. Just click that one without a leader line. So I'm going to click that so that I know what is that circuit number. So I'll tag the home run. There you go. And then I'll just select here, modify. Now, so that's how you generate it automatically, the wiring. Of course, you can just do it manually. Okay, so to do it manually, just go to the systems. And then after that, you can select here, wire. So you can click that drop down arrow so you can see the options here. So what I'm going to use is arc wire. So I'll use that arc wire. Uh, I'm going to use THWN type of wire. Okay, and then let us wire this one. So make sure you click on the connector. So let's say this one here. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's say this one here. So I'm going to click this. So make sure that's the one. You click that connector. You click. Okay, so that's the first point. And then I'm going to click here to make it an art. So I pick there. And then I'm going to click another one here. There you go. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to connect as well this one here. Okay. On our 105 here. So I'm going to connect. So let's connect. So you click that point. Pick one point here. And then you click another point here. There you go. Okay. If you want, you can also continue wiring. So you can click from here to here and then here. Okay. So if you want to display a wire tick marks, you can actually load it into your project. So let me show you. So let me go to modify to terminate the tool. So let's load a tick mark. So I go to insert and then let's go to load family. And then let's look for our tick mark. So I think it's on the annotation um, electrical tick marks. Okay, so I'm going to load, let's say, long wire tick marks. So let's load this one and then select open. There you go. So now that it's loaded, so you need to 
edit the electrical settings of your project. So you need to go to the systems. You need to select the electrical settings there. You click that. And then after that, you need to go to the wiring. And then there you go. So there's our tick marks here. Hot wire, ground wire, and neutral. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that drop down arrow. I load that long wire tick mark. Okay, there you go. And then just select OK. And then you will now see there is the tick mark that I'm talking about, right? So here you can select plus if you want to add a tick mark. Okay. Right. So you can minus your tick mark. You can add tick mark. Oops. Right. Okay. So again, you can find that on your electrical settings. And then wiring. And then there's your tick mark. So you can show tick marks always here. And you can actually have never home runs and wire home runs. So in my case, I just select show the tick marks always. So I select here. Okay. So that's how you show your tick mark. Now, if you want to create a manual home run, because this this home run here, we created this automatically, right? So if you want to create a home run manually, so you can do that. So you can click a wire. And then let's say here, I'm going to click to this point. I'm going to click another point here, and then I'm going to click another one here. Just like that. So there's your home run, okay? You can type that. You can type TG, so as you can see, it's on circuit number one. Right? Okay? And you can also create a multiple circuit home run. Okay? So what you can do is you can actually connect this to this one here okay you can you can do that so if you want to create a multiple circuit uh, home run so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select that and then you drag that point and then you connect that to this one there you go and then you will now see here this one here so it's updated okay our tag is now updated so it becomes circuit one and two so the circuit one and two is pointing to that power panel okay so after you connect that from circuit one to our circuit two so now it's updated all right so basically that's how you create your wiring in revit so again it's not that difficult just make sure you have the correct family inserted and you're good to go so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.